Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to capture clips for Day of Defeat using Half-Life Advanced Effects and Virtual Dub. Okay, before I start capturing, uh, I go into my video card settings for NVIDIA and I change a lot of all these settings to improve the image quality. Change that to quality, this to 16 times, um, enhance the application setting. Just put everything to the maximum just so I have a better image quality. Some of these I don't touch because they don't really apply to what I'm doing. High quality. Triple buffering on. Vertical sync on. Hit apply. And close this. Next, I'm going to go into my DoD folder and I'm going to put in the resource folder that will take remove the scoreboard and the black bars for HL TVs. Now, I already have a resource folder that I use to play DoD with and uh, just customize my scoreboard. So, what I want to do is I'm going to change this, just change the name of it so it doesn't actually use it in DoD. So, what I do is I put a 2 in front of that. And, and for the other resource folder for movies, I just take the 1 out. So it's just resource. And now you're going to have a UI folder inside the resource folder that has three files. Bottom, spectator, scoreboard, and then spectator. Okay, once that's done, you're going to want to go ahead and create a folder for your movie. So it's a little more organized. Uh, I'm just going to make a creative folder called tutorial. And in this folder, you're going to... What I do is I create a folder called HLAE to save all of my my HLE captures to and the folder called clips to save the clips into later. Um, once you have that done you can go ahead and open up Half-Life Advanced Effects and go to File, Launch. Um, if you haven't set this up yet you're going to be browsed to your HL.exe in your Data Defeat folder wherever that is, whatever you have that installed to. The modification is going to be DoD Data Defeat and you're going to put these custom command lines in. Plus toggle console and dash demo edit. The resolution is going to be 1280 by 720. And everything else should be uh, default. And check mark remember my changes if that's not checked. And then click launch. Okay, once you have DoD open, you're going to exec your movie config. So exec movie.cfg. And then you're going to be putting in a couple commands. R underscore decal zero. HUD underscore death notice underscore time and you set that to 5. Um, you're going to set MERV movie MERV underscore movie underscore FPS and you're going to set that to whatever you want it to be. I normally use 120 uh, and then MERV movie and then you're going to set the file name to where you to where you want to save to and then you for that I will go to my tutorial folder that I made before and I'm gonna, if you're on Windows 7, it's a lot easier. Just c copy the, the link at the top. And then you open up, go back to HLE, and you just paste that line in. And close the quotes. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and load up a demo. All right, once you've loaded up your demo, you can hit escape to give it time to load. Once your demo's loaded, go to the, drag the bar on the timeline to where you're for a couple seconds before your clip starts. You can open up your console and put in the two commands r underscore decals 4000 and the second command is hud underscore death notice underscore time 50. Death notice will be the names at the top right. It'll stay up longer. And our, our decals is the gunshots and spray paint. Okay, once you're ready to start capturing, you'll press F2 and it will start capturing and it will unpause the demo. And if you'd like to stop the capturing, you press F3. You'll notice that it's not going to play in real time since it's saving 120 pictures per second, so it may take up to up to a couple minutes to capture a simple 10 second clip. Once you're ready to stop capturing your clip, you can press F3 and pause the demo. Alright, so say you had another clip in the same demo you wanted to capture. 
we just change your R decals back to zero, your HUD death notice time back to five, and you just go to that next clip. You just go a couple seconds before the demo starts, before the clip starts. Put your R decals back to 4,000, your HUD death notice time back to 50, and you just press F2 to capture it again. And when it's done, the clip is done, you press F3 to stop it. Just gotta make sure that you set your R decals to zero and your HUD death notice to five before you load up another demo. Otherwise, you'll have spray paint, gun bullets, and gunshots all over the walls. And if you wanna keep your clips clean, then I recommend doing these two commands before you load up demos and just set them to their proper values before you start the clip. Alright, so you're done capturing and you want to turn your captures into AVI files to edit with. You would open up Virtual Dub, you go to Options, Preferences, you go, to, go down to Images, and you set your default frame rate to what you set in DoD. So mine was 120. Once you've done that, you go to File, Open Video File, you find your, your movie folder, HLAE, and then you go, you only have to open up the first image and it will open up all the rest of them. Once you've done that, go to File, save as API, and you just give it a name. I'll just name my tutorial, and click save. This, if you have a lot of files though, this can be, this, this, it's pretty slow, because you have to do one by one. So what you can do, is you can, you can batch save them. By doing that, do that, you go down to file, Q batch operation, and save as API. The shortcut key is control shift F7. And you just give it a name, we'll call this tutorial one. And now say you had a, you had another file, you you load up that file, and then once you load it up, you go to save as bat or Q batch operation save as API, and you just name give it a different name. Once you've saved that, say you've done you've batched all the files that you want to save, you go to file, job control. And it looks something like this. These are all my older files from before, different project. But this is what it would look like, and it would show all the all the files that you're wanting to save. And once you've got them all loaded up in the job control, you just click start, and it will go down the list and save them all as AVI files. All right, now for the last part, I go into my HLE folder, and for each take, I rename the sound file to the same name as the video file that it that it matches up with. So in this case it will be just be the tutorial. Once you've renamed it you just click and drag it over to the next folder. Um, I do this for each take. I only have one take in this tutorial but for a movie you'd obviously have more. Um, if you're not 100% sure which is the right clip for that sound file you can go into the all folder and just scroll down and just get an idea of what the clip looks like by the images and hopefully that'll give you a better idea of which clip it is and then just rename the sound file to the what you named the video file and put it in the same folder and that'll keep things a little more organized when you're editing all right thanks for watching my tutorial on how to make clips with HLE um, I'll show you a little preview of the clip I captured in the tutorial at the end here and um, good luck with any movies you make see you there